Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Surge XT, a free synthesizer that goes very in depth and sounds pretty awesome. So one of the first things I really like making with this thing are those kind of aggressive, almost jumping out of your speaker art bases. So we're gonna be doing that in conjunction with Stepix. So let's go in here, right click, and then go to initialize patch. So we kind of have this. Okay, so we have a saw wave. So here on the classic, let's change this to modern and let's go to a square wave and drop this down by one octave because we don't really need a square that high. So we can just go negative one right over here. Okay, so that's half the battle here. So we're gonna use oscillator two and this uh, saw wave here is gonna be fine. So we can just unmute this here from the mixer. And I just love that sound of that low square and that saw wave a little bit one octave up, just something about it sounds nice. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna add a little bit of unison to this, maybe three or four voices. A little more detune. Okay, so we have something kind of like this here. Now, the next thing we really wanna focus on is the filter because the filter sound and the envelopes are really gonna make this type of sound. So a really cool one in here is if we go into the low pass, we have this diode filter. And it's one of my favorites aside from the K35. And really a lot of these are actually very good sounding filters. But anyway, for this patch, we're gonna choose the diode filter. And if you didn't know, you can click this here and it's gonna change numbers and it's basically different versions of that. So if we right click this here, we can probably go to the 12 dB. That's probably gonna be fine. So it's gonna be the second rendition or revision of this diode filter. So we have something kind of like this here. Now with the cutoff, let's bring this all the way down and we play, we don't really hear anything. Bring our resonance up and then for our filter mount, we can turn this all the way up. So it sounds a little bit different and really the thing here is to bring down our sustain all the way down. So we have something kind of like that and it really depends on how much decay you want for how snappy you want that sound. So we're pretty much set up for now to start using this with Stepic. So what we can do here is once we have Stepic opened, we can go, we're gonna be doing this in F minor, but we might just stay for the most part in F. So what we can do is actually play this here and kind of make a little bit of a groove here. Right, so we can turn off a couple steps here. So let's turn off five and six, maybe nine. That's maybe 10. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And then kind of remove 16. Okay, so that'll get us started here and let's go back to Surge. So we can kind of just play this, this loop here and kind of just dial in our sound while this is going so we don't have to keep pressing our keys. So this is like what I was saying, this is kind of where you want to really dial in the decay. And this process works really in any synthesizer. It's just nice doing it in different ones because you get a different result every time. So that might sound kind of nice here, something like that. And what's really cool is on the wave shaper for the filters, this actually sounds really, really cool. So one I have been really liking is under the saturator, the medium one, and just giving a little bit of something. Kind of makes it a little bit aggressive. And then once we're at this spot here, we can kind of dial in the, the resonance, how much of that that we want. How, how I guess boinky, if that's even a word you want to make it. Okay, so that's kind of a cool spot here. And what we can do now is kind of just EQ our sound here to kind of get the frequencies up that we do want and take the ones away that we don't really want. So we could really do this on the A scene. This is basically just gonna be one scene. So we're just gonna stay in A the whole time. So it doesn't really matter if we do it on the master or we do it on the insert, it's kind of whatever. So uh, for this example, I guess we're just gonna do it on this first box here. So let's go to the EQ and go to an init one right here. And for the first one, what we can probably do is take out the frequency that we don't want it, which is probably gonna be somewhere 100, 200, 250, somewhere around there. So let's take a listen for that. Let's boost our gain here and then kind of sweep the frequency to find that. Okay, that right there, 141. Disgusting. Let's bring this down. And we don't really need to take out too much. It's kind of a careful one. It's kind of just slowly grinding a little bit of that away because if we take out too much, it's going to just sound kind of lifeless. So if we took out too much... 
we lose almost everything. So it's a very, very, very steady hand to do this. Okay, so then for band two, we kind of want to push something that we do like, some of that, uh, the brown note, I guess you would say. So kind of like that here, and then we can slowly increase this gain here and kind of just dial it into what we want. And then for the third band, this is kind of using this around 1K-ish or so to kind of get that, that clear texture, that feeling. You'll see what I mean here. So usually around 1K-ish or so is kind of where we're looking for. This is just a tiny bit that we can add. Maybe a little bit less of this, uh, what is it, 141? Okay, so now what we can do is add a little bit of course to kind of widen this up a little bit here, but we do have to be a little bit careful. So let's go to the second bank and go for the effects and then we find chorus here. And then maybe the analog warmth is gonna be fine, but this is gonna start on default all the way to the right for the mix. So let's bring this all the way down and kind of slowly fade this in. And then we can add a little bit of delays here on the last one. So we can go here and then go to delay. And then maybe we can start off with a basic one over eight. And then for the right channel, I kind of like going two over and then we have a one over eight dotted. So a delay on the left one over eight and then a delay dotted on the right is actually pretty cool. Except remember we're on 100% wet. So we need to drag the slider to the left and kind of slowly fade in. Maybe reduce our feedback just a bit here. Yeah, that's okay. So see here for the filter here, it's very important to see how much of that decay that we want. And for this sound, since we're down kind of here in the filter area, we can drop the sustain almost entirely. because this sound is really going to deal with the, I guess the sliders here for the decay for the most part. This sounds cool down an octave as well. And then we can go back here to stepping and then maybe on a couple of these steps, we can kind of bring this up by one octave. So yeah, that's kind of pretty much a basic aggressive bass arm, and it's kind of nice to sequence this sequence this here with Stebic because there's a lot of possibilities here. And don't be shy to check out the different filters as well. The higher up you go, it's gonna be a little bit cleaner because we're kind of cutting off a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's really up to you kind of how you like. So this is the diode, diode, diode lad. Oh my God, diode ladder filters. But we can go down through here and check out some of the other ones here. So here's kind of some of the basic ones. We'll kind of scroll through a couple of these here. And remember, whenever you see this kind of box here, we can always right click this and see which difference was or different filters we have here. This 
one always has aggressive results, I find, for some weird reason. But especially for this type of patch here, I kind of have come to like the diode filter and the all the, all the revisions sound pretty good. Maybe one is a little bit too less because we're only 6 dB per octave. So really 12, 18 and 24 can get you some pretty good results. If you want to get a little bit more harmonics, then you can go kind of crazy on the wave shaper. All right, so that was this patch. If you'd like to get a copy with it, a copy with a copy of it, then there is a link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.